Hi loves, welcome to Rogo Hi. This message is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node placements. Uh, first, we're going to get messages from the person on your mind, and then we'll get a few messages from Spirit to close it on out. All right. So uh, the index cards will be for the person um, that has something to deliver to you, message delivered to you. Uh, no clarity. You know who you're dealing with. You know how they feel. You know how to associate who is who with this whole situation here. But I'll just provide the cards and the messages for you so that you could see. All right. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Taurus, the person on your mind, what would they like to say at this time? Again, this is general and timeless. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. Could be something you just recently gotten over. Could also be something that you haven't experienced yet. We don't know. <laughs> All right. You know. So let's see. <clears throat> So here you have walk away coming out first Over there. and we have let the foreplay begin out for lunch lock it down You like what you see. Begging for more. I need you. You're back with who? I could be with you all night. Let's move this over a little bit. A little bit towards. Let's move this over a bit. And light a candle at us. Yeah. <clears throat> no outside influence. He a keeper. I should put he so he a keeper or ratchet ass. <laughs> Ooh, fake friends. Real friends. The fuck? Maybe you moving on. Oh, I said I'm clarity, huh? <laughs> Where I'm fucking you at? Tell them the truth. And real ass nigga to help you kick your feet up. Boop. All right. Let me see what's at the bottom. Catch a four leaf clover. Yes, catch a four leaf clover. Twin flame energy. All right, Taurus. Y'all still talking shit. Somebody's still talking shit. Bet you never had this before. Oh, goodness. Okay. All right. And then someone else is talking shit. Wine and dine. Your bitch is better than me. Could be an Aquarius. Or the re reversal, it could be a Leo. All right, so Taurus. Like I said, I'm not going to clarify this energy, um, you know, but overall, I do feel that you guys are walking away from something and into something else. Like, I see this whole transition from dealing with some fake ass shit to some real shit. You know what I'm saying? No outside influence, no bullshit, like something that's really solid for you. Like you're catching a four leaf clover. So you could be catching your twin or someone that you just feel fucking gets you like 
enough is enough, all right? You want to go out with somebody on a lunch date. You know, maybe you're dealing with toxic motherfuckers that only want to be with you at certain times or something. But, you know, it's like you're going to have the opportunity, the space uh, to be able to deal with someone that is honest with you, all right? And they are all in. I feel like they, they fuck with you on a passionate level, so there's chemistry there. Um, and they're also very... Um, they admire you, okay? They admire you. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into messages from spirit. And then we'll go ahead and let you go, Booskies. What's happening for Taurus? Or do messages for Taurus at this time? Mm -mm. I saw that three of swords down there. It's still down there. Get rid of her. All right. Let's see, Taurus. I do messages for Taurus. What do they need to know right now, Spirit? Messages of love and light for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun. What would they need to know right now? Messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun. What do they need to know at this time, Spirit? All right. All right, Taurus. Cherry reverse at the very bottom here. All right, so some of you guys could be having a bit of a time. Hard time. Um, <laughs> I'm here listening to spirit. All right, maybe you're a little hard-headed, little bull. It's okay. <laughs> it's not okay, but it should. It's going to have to be. Um, you got the seven of pentacles here. All right, so you are being guided. I feel that you're needing to pay attention to what strengthens you and what weakens you. All right. I'm hearing that strongly. What strengthens you and what weakens you. So something, <clears throat> excuse me, something you need to walk away from. All right, eight of cups reverse. You, you haven't though. It's almost as though you won't or you refuse to or there's something keeping you. And then this very clear as day, a, very, a thief in the day, head ass. <laughs> this motherfucker is a very obvious uh, thief. Uh, just low vibe energy. Just think of that. All right. It's like this motherfucker. They're always watching and always uh, calculating something. You got the Ace of Cups reverse. It could be someone that you rejected or just someone that you have not. Um, you refuse to offer your love to. All right. Maybe you're tired of this person. They want you to lock it down and you keep rejecting their cup. <clears throat> you have the Seven of Cups here. So it's like you have options. And you want something new. It's simple as that. You want something new. You don't want anything that's, you know, burdensome. Anything that is unrealistic. You're not looking for that. You guys could have a very specific plan for yourself and in life. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so I feel that there's these uh, illusions and these um unnecessary, unnecessary nonsense that's going on right now in, in your love sector. All right, but I feel spirit is wanting you to just be mindful. If this is your energy, again, take what resonates. Rose could be reversed. Uh, but I feel that um, whoever energy this is, well, it says no outside influence. Hold up, Taurus. It says no outside influence. So maybe you guys have a lot of options and you're really not sure which one to take a risk on. You don't want to do anything based on love because you kind of feel like that's silly. Like that's not realistic. It doesn't help you to be in your head about love. All right. So you're not seeing the opportunity. I feel like I'm looking at like um, I'm thinking of Mortal Kombat. You know, I'm seeing these different cards and I'm like feeling like they're different characters. And it's like you got some of the hardest motherfuckers like Sonya Blade and fucking Katana like in the reverse and shit. Look at them. You got them in the reverse. You know what I'm saying? You're not utilizing your resources, it seems like your good resources is what I'm picking up with this energy here. Instead, you're tolerating this nonsense. All right. <laughs> My camera, I done flipped it, so I'm all backwards and shit. There's some coordination in this hoe. But yeah, it's like, um, you're, you're, you're not, um, trying to hear it. My goodness. Whatever seems logical, it doesn't seem healthy. You know, it's giving fake. <laughs> but you're not, um, 
it seems like you don't care somewhere somehow something is benefiting you like you have a lot of options and so you're sticking with the one that is most beneficial to you with the seven of pentacles here like you're watching which option provides most to you Ooh we no love no emotions <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. Or just someone is being this way towards you. Like there, there's no empathy. There's no... Um, no benefit of doubt. None of that. None of it. This, this shit is kind of like... Five of Pentacles reverse. Someone feels left out in the cold. Someone else doesn't care. Nine of Pentacles, someone else is thriving. This is looking like you, Taurus. You're thriving or you are um, needing to be independent. Maybe you're all around just like, not using people, but it's it could come across that way because you just get what you want from them and you walk away, leaving them like, feeling like, you know, there was supposed to be more. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Six of Swords reverse. You probably just left like a thief in the night is what I'm hearing. Yeah, with the Seven of Swords right here. Eight of Swords and Six of Swords. Yeah, you left like a thief in the night. Instead of facing it. It's like some someone didn't close off something the way they should have. The Six of Cups reverse here. Yeah, so it's like now there's this independence. So someone feels like they're forced to be independent now that um, the protection is done. The protection is gone or the protection isn't there anymore. All right. So there could have been some type of guard around this connection or, you know, it could have even just been a perception. Like you could have just been protective of this relationship or this thing or the situation. And then once you release that. Or once it was like forcibly taken away here, um, it pushed someone into their independence. All right, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe they don't want to be independent. Whether this is you or them, it seems like someone doesn't want to be independent. Wow. Yeah, look at that. When it all costs. It's that when it all costs energy is very self-serving, you know, so maybe someone was just kind of like comfortable where they were. What is this on top of? Yep, telling the truth. Yeah, someone was just very, um, they didn't want to embrace change. <laughs> all right. The lovers reverse here. All right, possibly rejecting love, but they're needing to just focus on themselves right now. Maybe you have love distracting coming in like they're going to be able to help you and solve something for you. But spirit is wanting you to just be real with yourself. Like who really got your back right now? It's looking like you need you right now. <clears throat> The moon reverse, yeah, four of wands reverse, the six of wands reverse, yeah, and I'm seeing the six and the four with the ten energy, it seems like, you know, either a completion or one, a new beginning, you know what I'm saying, but it's up to the, the person, nobody can really do, dictate that, but someone is just seeing failure here, it's, they're just seeing failure here, like, you know, uh, the gig is up, <laughs> is what I'm hearing, and now it's time for um, this truth it's time for a, a fresh start. It's time for someone to kind of stand on their own. Yeah. And it seems like. Uh, let's see. This person is time for them to stand on their own. Or just like, you know, become independent. Step into their own power. Get their power back. Yeah. Five of Cups and a Two of Swords. Someone doesn't want to. They feel like they lost. They lost. They don't want to keep on going, you know. So it's like, well, what are you gonna do? Stay here playing with these cups that that got knocked over, or the cups that you no longer have? You know what I'm saying? Like spirit is offering you something. Yeah, this is this is. It's almost at this point, like you you want to accept this, like or this person. They want to stay in this shit. Six of Pentacles energy here. 
All right, it's like, you know, there could be an equal give and take, equal exchange here, fair exchange. If um, someone embraces this, and this is on top of the Nine of Pentacles, so it makes me feel that you could be searching for some type of fair exchange or searching for some type of um, resources. And Spirit is trying to show you that you have them. You're not listening to Spirit. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles reverse. You're completely avoiding that. Or you're not... Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. This is it's right here. It's right here. There needs to be a completion to something so that you can get your fresh start and step into your manifestation. All right. It's like you have all this. This is a completion with the world here. Then you have the fool. Brand new beginning. Then you have the magician here. You know what I'm saying? So this it's like once you get past this here, the completion, then you gain your new start and then you are able to manifest what you desire. All right. But the completion does come first and last. <laughs> All right, so it's almost like you cannot start something new until you close out something else. All righty, you're going to have to let something go. The very first card that came out was walk away. All right, and I feel that it's you walking away. It's like, look, begging for more. Maybe you're still begging for more, more help or more, you know, time or just waiting it out. And spirit is like, you don't have to do that. You do not have to do that. Wow, wow, wow. Something's telling me to look under the magician for these cards. Let the foreplay begin. Start doing it. Start manifesting. Like, start moving. Get in alignment with what you want. Out for lunch behind the Seven of Swords. Some of you guys, maybe this person, they know your schedule or, you know, some shit like that. Or you you got some type of situation where I feel someone has watched you and they don't want you to gain this, this uh, abundance that Spirit is trying to give to you. This is a gift from the universe, the Four of Cups here. All right. And so you have an opportunity to get something that you don't have to beg for. What is the What song was that? Uh, like something like when you fuck with her, you need signs from the light. I'm the truth and proof that's beyond for you, but never ever for you. Yeah, that's Brandy. I am more. I am more. You are more, Taurus. You are more, and I feel that spirit knows it. You know that. You know what I'm saying? You didn't see your work before. That's how you got to this space right here. So now you don't want to let go. You don't want to close it off. Fixed. But you're fixed ass. You don't want to close it off. You know what I'm saying? But spirit is like, listen, I got something more. You can keep on doing this, and it's only going to get better and better if you believe that. But it's all up to what you manifest. So if you're still begging for more from a situation that is done with, then you're never going to be allowed the opportunity to gain your new beginning okay until you decide to let it go all right this ain't even up to spirit or up to nobody else it's like it's up to you when you decide to walk away then that's when the rest of this shit can come through maybe you don't even realize that you have certain situations that you've been you know kind of um i'm hearing prey you've been prey to certain situations like you've been dealing with predators and shit sucking you dry and so maybe you're not going to realize it until you walk away. Maybe you're, you know, you sit up in shit for so fucking long, you don't smell it no more. That type of vibe. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you need to go into a different room or you step on a damn step in a car and all of a sudden you smell the shit on your, on your shoes. You know what I mean? It's like, whoa, how long has been there? A oh, while, wow, sis. Big time, bro. <laughs> you know, so you, you're going to walk away and get that shit off your shoes is what I believe spirit is wanting you to do. Uh, but you don't smell it. You don't smell it because you've been in it for so long. Let's get one more. and We're going to close this one out. You got the Ace of Swords. 
Ace of Swords. So it's like a genius idea that you guys have come up with. You guys have been thinking, uh, maybe even been feeling it, like you need to make some type of move or, you know, get away or, you know, you've been trying to figure out what to do. Like, where do I, what's the first step? And I feel the spirit is telling you to close something off, walk away from something and then trust in going to the next one, going to the next step. You're not going to be able to make sense of everything all the time. The Seven of Pentacles came out first, you know, so maybe you would hesitate to walk away from situations because you have to know each and every detail that's going on with it before you make a move. And Spirit is asking you to trust in your intuition for once. Those signals, those downloads, that communication that uh, Spirit is, you know, delivering to you is not for nothing. All right. So you don't want to fuck that up. You don't want to lie to yourself. All right. You miss out on a good thing. And that's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope it helps. Wishing you guys well. See you next time.